As anxiety builds along the Gulf Coast that last week's oil rig explosion could turn into an environmental catastrophe, crews have begun a last-ditch effort to burn the huge oil spill before it splashes ashore. But the effort is bound to be tricky. If you're going to do an in-situ burn, you have to be able to collect enough product together inside the boom that it can be ignited and it's worth burning. So we're looking for pockets of heavy concentrations of pro what we call product or the oil being able to gather that in a boom and then ignite it. Environmentalists, however, say the spill points to a simple conclusion. There are huge hazards to offshore drilling. What this shows is we simply do not have the capabilities to clean up a spill like this. You know, even if they do the burn, which may be the lesser of two evils, it's not going to clean it all up. There's still going to be a continued problem. More than 40,000 gallons of oil a day are leaking into the Gulf from the blown out well. Eleven workers are presumed dead and the cause of the disaster is still under investigation. The decision to burn some of the oil came after crews operating submersible robots failed to activate a shutoff device that would stop the well leak. Officials admit the problem is serious but say it would be premature to call it catastrophic. We have come a long way from Exxon Valdez and there is an area contingency plan that outlines the way ahead for all the challenges we're going to face. We've been working quite closely with both the, uh, the states and the best scientific ex experts as we plan where to deploy boom to, uh, to protect the most sensitive areas. Winds and currents in the Gulf have helped crews in recent days, and threats to beaches in Alabama and Mississippi have eased. But the spill has moved steadily toward an environmentally sensitive area, the mouth of the Mississippi River. And officials say the cost of the disaster could easily top $1 billion. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.